Hello everyone, my name is Python Jimmy and welcome back to the 18th episode of my Terraria Christmas playthrough. It is seven days, a week exactly, until Christmas Day, my friends. It is edging closer and closer towards- What the heck? Hey! What are you doing here? <laughs> what? Okay, apparently the entrance to the dungeon is so high up that wyvern spawn. What the hell? Get out of here, man. You shouldn't be here, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, dear. But yeah, seven days until Christmas, my friends. I'm getting super excited. I really am. Hopefully you guys are too. And uh, yeah, to start off today's episode, what we are going to do is we are going to farm our ectoplasm. Because I would like to really try to get the regenerative... Or do I want regenerative spectral armor? I think what I may do to take down the frost move for the first time is actually use turtle armor. Or not turtle armor, beetle armor, something along them lines. I'm, I'm thinking that uh, turtle armor slash beetle armor is actually going to be a good idea. Considering the high amount of defense we'll have. And then obviously once we manage to get ourselves something like the blizzard staff. Then uh, yeah, the uh, the regenerative spectral armor may come in useful then. So yeah, in the meantime what we are going to be going ahead and doing is we are going to do a little bit of farming around here. See if we can't, you know, reduce the amount of ectoplasm that we need to get later down the line just by doing a little bit of farming right now. And, yeah, I mean, we need to get some ectoplasm anyway for the Frostmoon Summoner, right? So, that is all good and dandy. We only need five, of course. It is, I do believe, it's going to be Souls of Fright. What the? Hey! Hey! It's going to be Souls of Fright. It is going to be some ectoplasm and some silk, I do believe. I think that's all it consists of. So, yeah. I mean, in the meantime, I think we're just going to go ahead and do it. Ay, 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 get out of here. Now, we have to remember the fact that there is actually one ectoplasm back at base. So, as a matter of fact, we only need three more ectoplasm to actually be able to, uh, you know, summon the event and get it going. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of farming down here, my friends. And, uh, oh, hey! There we go. Oh, there's another two, which means we need only one. Hey, buddy! Oh, don't hurt me, please. Can you, like, not? That would be appreciated and stuff. So, yeah, let me go ahead and farm out the last bit of ectoplasm and maybe a little bit more as well, just so we don't have to get too much later on. And, oh, wow, what the... Get out of here, dude. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> We're going to get on with this. I'll meet you guys back in base in a sec. And, of course, let's not forget to go ahead and get our dog out for the episode. Hey, little buddy. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, like, hurt some people for me? That would be great. Come on, puppy dog. Give me some cool stuff. Wait, what the hell? What's the cultist archer doing down here? Did he actually follow me all the way down here? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, okay, I've not quite, I've not seen that before. A cultist archer making a special effort to come down into the dungeon to try and kill me. That's, that's great. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alrighty guys, so I think I've done enough ectoplasm farming for now. We've got 19, so minus 5 off of that. And we've got 14 to go towards our eventual spectre armor, which is pretty damn nice. So let's go ahead and do the old quick stack action. We've managed to get ourselves a tabby from it as well, as well as a tactical shotgun, which of course we are not allowed to use. So let's go ahead and sell that straight away for 16 gold coins. Wow, that's quite a lot, isn't it? That's really, really nice. Okay, nice one. Okay, so, yeah, the tabby is going to go to an eventual... Yeah, it's going to go towards an eventual Master Ninja gear, right? Oh, we don't have any uh, We don't have any climbing claws. Dang it, if we had climbing claws, we'd be able to make the Master Ninja gear, like, right now. Hmm. Okay, right. I'm not going to lie, that kind of sucks. So, maybe we need to do a little bit of uh, surfaced chest... Uh, searching, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I think what we're gonna do now is we are going to head... Where should we head next? Where should we head next? I'm thinking we head to the jungle with a bunch of Spelunker potions. And then we go ahead and uh, dig up a bunch of Chlorophyte. And maybe farm out some turtle shells as well. Try and get ourselves the uh, turtle armor and thus the beetle armor as well. Uh, let me just go and grab out... Wow, I've got nine Spelunker potions? That's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> Nice one. Okay, so, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got some turtle shells already. Let me just go ahead and uh, tally up. Uh, okay, so we only need one more turtle shell, then we can make ourselves the full set of turtle armor. Uh, so, I'm thinking... Hmm. I think I'll... Yeah. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring battle potions with us. I was, I was originally not going to do it. 
But for the sake of being able to get this thing done quicker, I think it'll be a good idea. So, yeah, that has got damage on it. I wouldn't mind getting speed on it because it will make the process just that little bit easier, I guess. So, maybe we head up to little guy up here. Sucks. And let's get ourselves some speed. Nope, that's not speed. That's not speed. There we go. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot, my friends. We've got ourselves a speedy pickaxe. Obviously, light is the best prefix for tools, such as the hammer and the axe and the pickaxe, because, you know, speed equals you can mine things faster and swing faster. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead, get down to the jungle. That was a squeak. I do apologize. <laughs> let's get down to the jungle. And let's, uh, let's dig out some chlorophyte and farm out some turtles. Let's do it. Hey, so check it out, guys. Not only do we have a Plantera bulb spawn near the surface and also near our arena, but we have also found ourselves our first life through and indeed a moth. I wasn't expected to find a moth, but I'll take it. Hey, 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 Mr. Angry Trapper, you're not taking me down, son, not today. Oh, my lord, there's already a whole crap ton of dudes who want to kill me. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Not today, not ever. All right, so let's head up here. Let's get our first ever life route, and let's get this chlorified digging session underway, shall we? Oh, Terraria, you think you can fool me with hidden explosive traps? Look slightly above this torch, my friends, and you're going to find a little explosive. Yeah. Terraria thinks it's being smart, but guess what? I outsmarted it this time. I may have been killed by it before, but I'm not going to let it happen again. It's not happening. No way. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So check it out. We've got 375 Chlorify all, which is more than enough to make ourselves a full set of Chlorify armor. But obviously, we are looking to make turtle armor. So I'm now... Whoa! No, 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 no. Get destroyed. Oh, oh no, Marsha. <laughs> no! I wasn't expecting that. No! Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Martians are invading, apparently. They don't appear to be invading around here, though, which I guess is okay. So, yeah, I mean, we can continue. Oh, what the hell was that? Huh. Okay, well, we can continue farming around here for the turtles, I guess. So, yeah, let's keep ourselves going. We'll go underground here, and uh, I guess we'll have to farm out the turtles on the ground, and then we'll have to deal with the Martian Madness in a little bit, huh? God dang it. Well, it turns out we're not going to be doing the Frost Moon in today's episode, my friends. Really wasn't expecting the Martian probe to be around it, but then again, I should have expected it to happen because, you know, it's around now that it can happen, so, yes, yes, that is a thing. Alright, so, like I say, I only need one more turtle shell, so let's keep ourselves going, my friends. I really hope it won't take too long to get it as well, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do some farming. Well, guys, it's got to be said, I would have much rather not have had the uh, Martian Madness event on my butt right now. I wonder if I could skip it somehow, like, if I quit out the world and come back in, is that going to make it go away? I mean, to be honest with you guys, the Martian Madness event is quite literally not going to have any benefit to us whatsoever, and I can tell you right now that I'm just going to get served on a platter if I try to go outside and do anything else. Dang it, man. Hey, man, I got a bone saw. That's kind of cool. I like how uh, I like how Chippy here is, like, not even doing anything. He's just sat in the house chilling, like, oh, hey, there's Martians invading, but nah, no worries, mate. I'll still sell you some things. What a trooper. What a true trooper. <laughs> oh, I love you, Chippy. You're such a good dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and put them down there. Let's go and put these right here. And, uh, yeah. I really am genuinely thinking of just skipping this event altogether because, like I said, there's just no reason for me to go ahead and do it. So there we go. Let's just go out and let's see if it'll actually skip it if we go back in. The North Pole. It is still being invaded by Martians. Or is it? It is. Wait, what the hell? Is reset back to 0%? Wait, are you for real, right? It's actually going to reset back to 0% if I quit out the world. Or is that 0% still uh, encompassing the fact that we took down some dudes previously? I have no idea, honestly, with you guys. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going, my friends. Well, guys, the good news is I managed to get myself a turtle shell at long last. So there we go. Let's go and put you in there. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, these guys are really annoying. I wish they'd all just go away or there was some way of just, like, making the event disappear. That would be amazing, but that's not going to be the case, is it? We're actually going to have to take these guys down. Not even quitting out the world and coming back in will do the job. Even though I'm pretty sure it makes it... I'm pretty sure it works with the goblins, right? Like, it will skip the entire goblin event if you just come out... Well, go out the world and come back in again. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead. Ow! Do you mind, sir? I would like to survive. 
And I would also like you not to kill my Goblin Tinker because he's actually quite a, a valuable asset to the team. I'll tell you what, should we go ahead and try using this thing? Yeah, get off me. Oh, all of you, go on. Go on, the Frost Band will take you down. Yeah, the Frost Band will take everybody down. Go on. Oh, there's a Scott Licks there. What are you doing there? Hey, come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not even the Frost Band is good enough, man. This is crazy. Come on, dudes. 22%. We still got a long way to go, my friends. God freaking dang it. Hey, Mr. Mister Grunt, go away. No one likes you. Hey, same with you lot. What? There's a bunch of guys in my dang farm. What do you think you're doing? I don't even know, man. But I feel like I'm going to die any second now. Ugh. I really want to try and not die if I can help it. But about, I don't think that's going to be the case, really. Well, the good news is there's no sign of any... Uh, there's no sign of a thing yet. Hey! Hey! There's no sign of a Martian saucer yet. There was before, but it, it despawned when I quit out the world and come back in because I tried to do the thing. But, yeah. Okay. Cool. I just remembered as well, we completely forgot to open up the presents at the beginning of this episode, like I said I would, so I do apologize about that. Hey! Do you mind? I don't want to die. Like, really? Really? You're throwing a party during a Martian in- <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Okay. That's totally fine, buddy. I mean, why not? I mean, you know, Martians are invading. Let's throw a freaking party, dude. Why not? Oh, I freaking died. How did I die? Oh, he must have he must have flown through the base and the laser went down here. Yeah, that makes sense. Freaking Dr. Evil and his freaking lasers. Freaking dude. Ah. All right, let's keep going, my friends. We're going to have to just, like, cope with this and keep going until everybody dies, I guess. Ah! No! Not in here, man. Not in here. This is a sacred place. This is Santa's workshop, man. How could you be so disrespectful? Alright, guys. So, the good news is we managed to go ahead and defeat the Martians. I pretty much avoided taking down the sources at all costs. I took down all the little dudes and, well, eventually I managed to take down the entire event. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And what it means is we can finally get on with doing the things that we were supposed to be doing. Which is, of course, going ahead... And uh, making some turtle armor. So here we go. Let's just go and sell this stuff. We just don't need it. We just really do not need it. Explosives. We're probably not going to use them. So I'm going to go and sell them as well. Because why not? Wait, really? They don't have any sale price? Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go and sell that as well. We do have some Martian conduit plating. But I don't think we're going to wind up using it. So I'm just going to put it away in the chest for now. Uh, let's go and put it in place of the dart traps. And yeah. We have a life route, obviously, from the jungle before. And we are now going to make ourselves some chlorified bars. Let's get it done, my friends. Here we go. How many? 62 bars is going to be the amount we can create. And if we just head up here real quick, how many How many beetle husks do we have? 15. I don't know how many it's going to be to make a, make a full set of beetle armor, unfortunately. So, yeah. But anyways, let's have a look. We've got turtle helmet, turtle scale mail, and turtle leggings. It is going to be a total of quite a lot of defense. That's all I can say. Let's go ahead and get this out. And yeah. Okay, so we're going from 49 defense up to 71 defense. That is an increase of 22 defense. That is incredible. Okay. Right. Now then. And if we take all of this off, I want to go ahead and see about uh, how many husks we are going to need to make a full set of armor. It is going to be 6 plus 8, which is 14, plus 4, which is going to be 18. So we need to take down Gollum one more time to get ourselves some more beetle husks. That should not be any hardship. In fact, at all. Uh, that should be incredibly easy, especially with the fact that we now have turtle armor. In fact, I think this is going to be so easy. It, it's going to be a cakewalk, basically. So here we go. Got a lizard power cell. And that's pretty much all we need. So let's head over to the jungle. And let's take Gollum down again. Alrighty, guys. And here we go. Managed to get one more lizard power cell from the lizard dude. So we can take down Gollum twice, in fact. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's get ourselves that going. Let's get ourselves that going. And let's get ourselves a Gollum fight underway. Obviously, the Pixel would be something rather nice that we can get. It's probably the only useful thing. In fact, maybe the Eye of the Golem could prove to be a useful thing to get, but I don't know. We'll have to go ahead and see, huh? All right, he's down to 10k health already. My Staff of the Frost Hydra and my Amorok combined are doing very, very nice amounts of damage. And I've just realized, can I not make a... I'm pretty sure I can make an Avenger emblem, right? Did I get a Sorcerer emblem from the, from the Wall of Flesh before? I feel like I did. 
Unless that was a different series. It's entirely possible, of course. I realise I get I got myself yet another lizard power cell as well. I didn't miss that. So yeah, I've still got two. Okay, well, we might as well go ahead and farm him out. If not for money, then for maybe some of his other drops, I guess. Alright, we're doing well in terms of health so far, which is always nice to see. And bada bing, bada boom, there he goes. Alright, we have another 8,000 health to take away. And then we're pretty much done with this particular fight. And then we'll, like, farm him out a few more times until we run out of lizard power cells, I guess. So, yeah. Alright, 4k health. 3.5k. Nearly at 3k. Oh, I tell you what, his head is really annoying. It moves in a really unpredictable way and it, it, it annoys me greatly. All right, here we go. And Gollum is down. Boof. Hey, I have the Gollum. We actually got something I was wanting. Nice one. And it's menacing. So we got more damage as well as 10% increased crit chance across the board. Nice. All right, let's get on with another one. And let's skip to the end of these fights. Oh, come on, man. That's the second time I've died when he's had less than a thousand health, man. Oh, come on, Santa Claus. You're supposed to be more badass than that, dude. All right, well, whatever the case may be, I don't think it really matters a great deal because I think we're pretty much done with Gollum. Uh, unfortunately, we have a Blood Moon right now, which kind of sucks. But uh, what doesn't suck is the fact that we now have enough stuffs. Hey, 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 get out of it. Get all of you, get out of it. I don't care if it's a blood moon, you can all go away. Thank you. Ta uh, all of you, go on. You included Mr. Wolf, get out of here. I don't care if you're native to this biome, get out. Alright, so here we go. The question is, do we go for offensive or defensive beta llama? That is an iron golem. Not an iron golem, what is this, Minecraft? Uh, we'll get There's an ice golem right there. That's pretty interesting. Uh, ooh, damage? Ooh. I don't know, man. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. The question is, do we go for offense or defense? I normally go for offense, so I think I might go ahead and do that. Yeah? I'm kind of liking the sound of that. So let's go and go from 6 defense with no armor all the way up to 67 defense. Very nice indeed. And of course, bo bonus is the beetles increase your melee damage and speed. That is awesome. Hey, buddy! How you doing? Hey, come on then. Yeah, my beat alarm is going to destroy you. Hey, can you not freeze me on the spot, please? That would be much appreciated. Hey, that's the second time you've done that. I've just warned you about doing that, and you're about to feel the wrath of Santa Claus in that you're going to die. And he did. So, yeah, that's a thing. Ha! <laughs> Awesome. Well, alrighty guys, so we got ourselves Beta Llama, we managed to take down Gollum uh, another, on another occasion, and we survived against Martian Madness, even though it is a completely useless event for this playthrough, and uh, yeah, I think next episode is going to, indeed, be the Frost Moon episode, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's get to it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, my friends. In fact, before we end the episode, I keep forgetting we got ourselves a whole bunch of presents to open up. Why do I keep forgetting that? Why do I keep forgetting that we've got a whole bunch of presents to open up? I'm such a dumb dumb dude. Jeez. All right, let's head up here real quick. Let's go and put you away, you away, you away, you away, and you away. And let's just go ahead and spam open all 57 of these presents. Here we go, my friends. Oh, we've got like a toolbox thing. Interesting. Okay, and yep, things are now starting to, like, flow out because we don't have enough space. That's kind of funny, actually. Alright, so we've got a toolbox, increases item placement and tool range by one. That's kind of cool. Uh, we've got ourselves a snow hat amongst a whole bunch of other things. So, yeah. Alrighty, nice one. Let's go ahead and sell all the stuff. Hey, buddy, Lloyd, come here. I'm selling my stuff to you, okay? Don't, don't walk away while I'm trying to... Oh, I've already got a... I've already got a dog thing. I don't need two. Alright, Holly, don't need that, don't need that. Uh, and yeah, we're pretty much good. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, and of course you are excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos. Uh, like I said, next episode is going to be the Frost Moon episode. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I certainly am, because it's about time we got some more epic weapons. See so yeah, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.